Hey, cyber warriors. Today, we are tackling a big question in the world of cybersecurity. What we should give it a try. Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. If you are like me, navigating the path of an aspiring security professional, you have probably wondered which platform is best to invest your time and effort into. These platforms are not just tools for learning. They are the proving grounds where we sharpen our skills and build the portfolios that will catch the eyes of future employers. So, which one should you dive into? Let's break it down together. But before we begin, take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. If you are ready to level up your skills, stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity, and unlock exclusive tips to enhance your hacking journey. Every week, we bring you fresh insights, tutorials, and reviews to fuel your growth in this field. So don't miss out. Subscribe now and let's build a powerful community of security professionals and learners together. Hack the Box and Try Hack Me are two of the most popular platforms for cybersecurity enthusiasts to practice their skills, and each one brings something unique to the table. The decision between the two is not just a matter of preference, but an important step in shaping your learning journey based on what suits your goals. Hack the Box is known for its more advanced challenges, making it ideal for people who are already familiar with penetration testing or have some technical knowledge. Its labs often simulate real-world environments and focus heavily on hacking without hand-holding, which is excellent for building resilience. Thinking like a hacker and preparing for capture the flag or CTF competitions or certification exams. On the other hand, Try Hack Me is more beginner-friendly and offers a structured learning path. It provides guided, interactive tutorials that help users progressively build up their skills in areas like web exploitation, privilege escalation, and even broader topics such as networking and blue teaming. The platform includes beginner to expert level contents, making it accessible to a wider range of users while still offering challenging content for those wanting to go deeper. Now we're gonna see costs difference between these two platforms. First hack the box, go to pricing tab. Here you have light, base, professional, and ultimate options. In light, you have 14 days free trial, and after that, you will pay $250 per month. If you will switch it annual, you will pay $2,500 per year. Details are mentioned down below in each tab. Other options like the base, these features provide comprehensive insights and data analysis related to user engagement, completion rates, skill development, and performance trends. Professional include, exclusive machines is a special category of machines only available to a subset of users. They offer advanced and unique challenges to help users further enhance their skills and knowledge in the field of cybersecurity. The ultimate tab, you are going to recruit top cybersecurity talent from our global talent pool of professionals. Let's compare it with Try Hack Me. Try Hack Me also has a free membership option, giving users access to some rooms and challenges. For full access to all content, users can subscribe to the Try Hack Me premium plan for $10.50 for per month. For business environment, each users can pay $40 per month. In terms of costs, Try Hack Me is more affordable, with the premium plan costing only $10.50 per month compared to Hack the Box Lite membership. It has business membership is also available at cost of $40 per month. Features of both platforms. Hack the Box. Hack the Box is renowned for its advanced, realistic simulations and high difficulty challenges. It's a great choice for intermediate to advanced users looking to tackle real world scenarios. Some of Hack the Box highlighted features are boxes and machines. A wide array of boxes, which are called virtual machines, represents various security challenges, from web application exploits to network penetration testing. Pro Labs, Hack the Box offers specialized labs simulating corporate networks ideal for developing skills relevant to real-world job settings. These labs include unique features like active directory environments and high-stakes simulations. Competitions and community, Hack the Box global competitions allow users to test their skills alongside others, adding a gamified element for competitive learning. These advanced features make Hack the Box popular with users who enjoy challenging, less guided tasks, and those interested in realistic, job similar environments. Try Hack Me. Try Hack Me is well suited for beginners and intermediate learners, thanks to its structured approach and learning pathways. It features our learning paths. These include predefined courses in fields such as web hacking, network security, and cryptography. Each path is curated to guide users through fundamentals before moving to advanced topics. Virtual Labs and Rooms. 
Try Hack Me Rooms are self-contained lessons that cover specific cybersecurity skills, making it easy to learn progressively. Each room contains a unique virtual machine with hands-on tasks and instructions. Community and support. The platform's community is smaller but active, with resources like walkthroughs, tutorials, and shared user content. There's also an emphasis on supporting new users, creating a collaborative learning environment. Both platforms offer a wide range of features, with Hack the Box focusing more on individual machines and challenges, while Try Hack Me emphasizes guided learning paths and a more structured approach. Both have active communities and regularly updated content. Ease of use, Hack the Box may be slightly more challenging for beginners, as it requires more independent problem-solving and research. However, this can be beneficial for users looking to develop critical thinking skills and real-world experience. Try Hack Me is generally considered more beginner-friendly, with step-by-step -step guidance and explanations provided in many of the rooms. This makes it easier for users who are new to cybersecurity to get started and progress through learning paths. In terms of ease of use, Try Hack Me is more accessible to beginners, while Hack the Box may present a steeper learning curve. However, both platforms cater to different learning styles and preferences. Depth of Services, Hack the Box, Diverse and Complex Challenges. Hack the Box offers an extensive selection of machines, ranging from beginner to highly advanced levels. Users can practice fundamental hacking concepts or tackle intricate enterprise-level environments, making Hack the Box popular among those preparing for advanced cybersecurity certifications. Pro Labs for Real-World Simulations Pro Labs are Hack the Box flagship offering replicating complex corporate networks and scenarios. These labs are designed to mimic realistic penetration testing assignments, including features like Active Directory and Network Segmentation. They are an excellent choice for users who want to simulate high-stakes real-world scenarios. Depth and Complexity Hack the Box challenges tend to emphasize independent problem-solving with minimal guidance or hints. This focus on self-reliance means users often work through advanced issues on their own, which can be beneficial for those looking to build deep technical expertise and resilience. Try Hack Me Structured Learning Paths Try Hack Me shines in its focus on structured educational content, offering clearly defined learning paths that cover beginner to intermediate topics in offensive and defensive security. These paths help learners build skills in a symmetrical, progressive manner making it ideal for those looking for a more guided experience. Interactive and guided instruction. Each Try Hack Me challenge includes hints, instructions, and guided explanations, providing a supportive framework for users. Beginners especially benefit from this structured setup as it facilitates learning without overwhelming users with excessive difficulty. Breadth over depth. While Try Hack Me offers a wide array of topics and covers foundational cybersecurity skills comprehensively, it may lack the same level of complexity and independent problem-solving emphasis found in Hack the Box. Advanced users may find Try Hack Me approach better suited for skill building and practice rather than deep technical challenges. Certifications Hack the Box Certifications Hack the Box certifications focus heavily on hands-on, real-world scenarios, providing attentive exams that simulate real-world environments. Key certifications are Number 1 Hack the Box Certified Penetration Testing Specialist focuses on intermediate-level penetration testing skills, assessing the ability to conduct ethical hacking and risk assessment. Number two, Hack the Box Certified Bug Bounty Hunter targets intermediate-level web application and API security testing skills, preparing candidates for bug bounty programs. Number three, Hack the Box Certified Defensive Security Analyst geared toward SOC and incident handling skills, ideal for roles focused on cybersecurity operations. Number four, Hack the Box Certified Exploitation Expert, an advanced certification that dives into complex web vulnerabilities and secure coding, ideal for experienced professionals. Try Hack Me Certifications. Try Hack Me, on the other hand, offers Try Hack Me Certified Offensive Security Professional, which combines foundational and intermediate level hacking skills. The focus is on structured, guided learning paths to build core cybersecurity skills, making it ideal for beginners transitioning into the field. It is known for being more accessible and is less costly than Hack the Box advanced certifications. Try Hack Me certification is often preferred by those seeking an entry point into cybersecurity, with step-by-step -step guidance provided through learning paths covering topics such as web security, 
networking, and basic exploitation techniques. Conclusion. In essence, Hack the Box is ideal for those seeking a platform with high depth and individual challenges, complex problem-solving requirements, and advanced training environments that simulate real-world enterprise settings. Try Hack Me, however, is excellent for structured learning paths and guided instruction, making it a better fit for beginners or those who prefer an organized, supportive learning environment. Ultimately, the choice between Hack the Box and Try Hack Me depends on your experience level, learning style, and long-term goals in cybersecurity. Whether you're aiming to build up foundational knowledge or push the boundaries of your hacking capabilities, understanding what each platform offers will help you find the one that aligns best with your professional development. To wrap things up, Hack the Box offers deep, hands-on experiences and real-world simulations perfect for advanced learners. While Try Hack Me provides structured learning paths and guided challenges that are ideal for building foundational skills. The best choice really comes down to your learning style and goals in cybersecurity. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have used either one or both of these platforms, please share your experiences in the comments. Let us know which platform worked best for you, or even if you have a preference. Your feedback will be invaluable to others who are just getting started on their journey into cybersecurity. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment down below. See you in the next one.